Hey folks, Chuck here. Uh, title of this video, as you probably know, is Treat Sharia with Respect? And my short answer is no, not ever. Not only don't I treat it with any respect, I hate it. I hate it in the respect of the eight countries on this earth that use Sharia law to their own ends and systematically discriminate against half of their population, if not more. I, I hate it. Now before I go on, I have to put a disclaimer that um, this, many of you will still think it is, but this is not an attack on Islam. It's not an attack on Muslims. It's an attack on the systematic discrimination in eight countries of half of its population. I will speak out about it all I want just as I will speak out against laws in any country that systematically discriminate against parts of its population. Now I'm on a website right now um, I've been looking at a few pro uh, Sharia law websites today I'll put the the address for this one over here this particular one and I'm gonna read you uh, just a couple of sentences from it I don't mean to be boring but I I think this is important <clears throat> this gives us a mindset into uh, people who believe in Sharia law who who think a particular way and this website also as as many uh, uh, religious websites not just Muslim websites but uh, Christian yeah that um, if you don't agree with them then you're ignorant of the facts and the fact of the matter in this case is I'm not too ignorant of Sharia law and just just because I I uh, uh, disagree with many aspects of the law does not mean I'm ignorant of the facts it means I disagree with it for certain reasons now if, if Muslims want to live their lives under a Sharia law that's fine knock yourselves out what I have a problem with are countries who use this as a basis of law that are non-democratic countries that systematically discriminate against their population. Now here is a, um, again I want to read just this one paragraph, it's, it's, it's quite short. Women in Islam are treated with dignity and respect and are not to be objects of sex in society. Women are considered equal in the sight of God, but are given slightly different and complementary roles to men. Women historically have contributed much to Islamic civilization and society. Um, now I'm going to look at this quickly. Um, so I don't go over my 10 minutes. Women in Islam are treated with dignity and respect. In much of Islam, I believe that's true. In the countries that observe Sharia law, that is not true in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> if your uh, uh, definition of dignity and respect is not to be able to walk down the street alone, unveiled, not able to even speak to a non-family male that's not dignity and respect that's discrimination and if you want to do it under the guise of protecting these women 
Well, who are you protecting them from? You're protecting them from Muslim men who are supposed to observe Sharia law. Well, if they observe Sharia law, why do these women need protection from them? I, I just don't understand that. And when these women, when walking alone in the street, are attacked and raped, they are the first ones held accountable for it. Not the Muslim men who are supposed to be observing Sharia who attacked her. I mean, to me, that's kind of sick. And just because they walk down the street alone or meet men who are not family members, why is it assumed that they should automatically be objects of sex in society? That's not freedom. That's not respect. That's not dignity. That's discrimination. Okay, the next sentence was, uh, Women are considered equal on the side of God, but are given slightly different and complementary roles to men. Well, if they're given slightly, which I question the word, slightly different, and complementary roles to men, then they are not considered equal in the sight of God or in the sight of any buddy or anything. That's not equal. Equal is equal. This is equal to make you, uh, the word equals to make people who are pro Sharia feel good about themselves. But that's not equal complementary role to men, the same men that these women need protection from? Something a little weird about that. Something more than weird. I think it's sick. And then to finish it off, women historically have contributed much to Islamic culture and civilization. I think women have probably con contributed the most to Islamic civilization and society mostly because it's the men that rule Sharia law. They haven't considered, contributed anything to civiliz civilization and society in my view. You know again this is not an attack on Islam and it's not an attack on Muslims. But I have to tell you guys who, you, you Muslims out there who take offense to this, you're, in one respect, if you believe in Sharia law, you cannot believe that Islam is a peaceful religion, because Sharia is anything but peaceful. I guess peaceful if you keep your face veiled, you shut your mouth, and you stay in your house. Well, any place will be peaceful if everyone stays in their house. Couple of thoughts. Hope I don't get too many death threats. Talk to you later.